So this is another one of my favorite images. This is uh, the Code Red Swell in Tahiti, 2011. That day was mind blowing. I've never even seen the ocean do the things that it did that day. And, you know, it was right in the middle of a, of a contest and there was a bunch of the tour surfers out there watching. And a few of them gave it a go. You could see everybody sitting in the, in the, in the channel, like some people like with terrified looks on their face and some people with, you know, crazy eyes that, that wanted to get a piece of it. And I remember Julian sitting out there all day and looking at it, looking at it and, and ended up going out there and, and getting this wave, which was, it wasn't the tallest one, but it was sure thick and, and uh, it was pretty incredible. I knew that day that this guy was a madman. Like, I didn't know that before that day, but that day he was like, he went out there, had the comp the next day, didn't worry about that, wanted to get a piece of it, went after it, got it. And so like, it wasn't a surprise, like during the whole Mick, Mick Shark thing when he paddled over because I'd seen him this day go out there and, and, and face crazy fears. And I, I always thought that like, there was, he was just like the madman inside of him that you don't normally get to see. You see this guy punting airs and, and doing great turns and this and that, but, but he's a madman. Like, as you see here, as you saw with the shark debacle and I, you know, I always kind of felt like after he did this, that that Tahiti win was going to come and it did last year. And I thought that was pretty rad. It was like, you went out there and slayed it on the gnarliest day ever, put everything on the line, so to speak. And, um, you know, so then you got your, your rewards for it. This, this photo wasn't seen very much. I think it was an ad for, for, uh, Nike surfing at the time. And I don't, you know, I, I always really liked it just, just because of the, just seeing everything that came together and knowing what it took to go out that day to put your, you know, uh, put your balls on the line, I guess. And it was pretty sick. Mm -hmm.